victim. Several people were forced from their homes last night when a man barricaded himself in an apartment with five other people. 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe has the latest now from Wixom. That man, police say, was holed up in that second floor apartment here behind me in building 30 and with him three other adults. They say only one of them is cooperating with police. The entire ordeal catching neighbors off guard. Overnight, shots fired outside the village apartments in Wixom. That's where police were called around 1.45 this morning. The first two shots were kind of a minute to a party. It wasn't like pow, pow, it was a pow. And then I'm like, did you hear my cousin say the same thing? Hey, what is that, a gunshot? And I'm like, yeah, pow. Like, okay, well, somebody shoot. Daquan Jackson lives across the hall from the apartment that police were calling their target apartment, an apartment they say a man barricaded himself in for hours. He initially didn't know what to think. Maybe some new kids got a hand a hold of a gun or you know what I mean? Or if it's a, I, I didn't know what it was. Police say their dispatchers received several calls of shots fired. And when they got to the apartment, a man came out from the second floor apartment, then went back in and barricaded himself. I mean, out my people, I see the door open. I can see a baby with a diaper right there in the door. And I hear somebody like, hey, shut the door, shut the door. Police finally able to force the barricaded man out. A flashbang scaring him and three other adults we've learned were inside. Police say two kids, a three year old and a five month old were also inside at the time. And our cameras rolling as a detective from the Wixom Police Department walked out of the apartment with a handgun they believe was used in firing those shots. That three year old and five month old that were found inside that apartment are in custody of Child Protective Services. As for the four adults, they're still being questioned by police. And as we learn more about the investigation, we'll pass it along. In Wixom, I'm Nibu Shafe, 7 Action News.